Hello people, I hope you and your family are safe. So recently I did an examination called AZ900 that is Microsoft Azure Fundamentals and in this video I will talk about what I did uh, for the examination, what strategies did I use, what resources did I use, how you can give this exam and uh, I will cover everything that I know about this exam and that will help you in starting or maybe clearing that exam. So let's start. So let's talk about why to give AZ900. So if you are starting your cloud journey and you want to make a career in cloud, so AZ900 will give you a kickstart to start your cloud journey. So it's a very basic exam. I will uh, categorize this exam into the level easy because uh, yeah, it just covers all the fundamentals that are used in Azure. Uh, so all it will talk about all the services Azure has and uh, identity, uh, security, everything uh, that are the basic concepts of every cloud provider. And also, if you are, if you have never uh, worked in Azure, then uh, and worked in GCP or AWS, then uh, it's an ex it's it will be an easy exam for you because uh, all the con all the cloud providers have the same concept. Just the uh, services name will vary. That's it. Uh, that's the basic difference between all the cloud providers that we have. Now, who can give this exam? So if you are a student or working professional, anyone can give this exam. It's not a mandatory thing that you must be a working professional to give this exam. If you are a student, definitely give that. And uh, the price of this exam in India is approximate 4,000 rupees. So it's not uh, too costly that you can't give this exam and I believe that for students uh, the price can be a little low or you can get uh, the AZ900 vouchers from uh, various sites uh, because I think Azure runs some challenges from which you can get the exam vouchers so it will be free after getting that voucher so it's Great, right? So now let's talk about the pattern of this exam. So the exam marks are of 1000 and you have to get 700 plus marks to get the certificate and clear this exam. Okay, and uh, it sounds really tough to get 700 plus marks, but it's not that tough. I mean, you can clear easily. Uh, it's so, so easy exam. And if you prepare well enough, okay, that's the condition. Uh, so don't worry if you don't have any idea about this exam i will share everything okay just wait now uh, the exam is of uh, 85 minutes and you will get 40 to 60 questions in your exam okay in my case uh, i just got 37 questions and the timing was reduced since the questions were low and uh, it was about 60 minutes that i got and i completed all the questions in about 30 minutes so it's that easy okay it's just half the time i just finished my exam and got the results so yeah when uh, when you finish the exam you will get the result in front of you that if either you pass or fail so yeah so i passed the exam and that was so good and after an hour you will get the certificate in your mail okay Next thing, how did I prepare for this exam? So, um, I just love to read the documentation, the official documentation, because in reading, you will get more uh, more material, okay? In videos, we just reduce and we will just tell you what's important. But in documentation, you will get everything that you need to know. So, I will prefer if you, um, you can choose any, okay? It's not mandatory that you have to go for documentation and that you have to go for videos. If you like to watch, then you can go for video tutorials that are available on Udemy. Or if you don't want to spend any money, then there are many, many videos on YouTube available freely. So just search for AZ900 tutorial and you will get the whole course. I think Free Code Camp has some courses. Um, so yeah, you can check that out. Uh, I think they have the best courses available. Now, if you are a documentation person, if you like to read, then 
the best material i would say is just the microsoft documentation so if you search for az900 uh, just az900 you will get the link the first link of exam and uh, it will be like docs.microsoft.com and you will get all the materials that you need to know about this exam and i use the official documentation of microsoft because they are so easy to read and i got to know so many things uh, i know uh, i knew before giving this exam i knew the cloud how it works uh, i mean i knew all the concepts uh, that are used in cloud computing but when i read those uh documentation it was like wow i didn't knew these things so i get to learn a lot after i read those documentation so shout out to microsoft documentation you are so amazing so yeah thank you so much for making our life easier and i learned a lot from the documentation so to uh, for me uh, it was like i was doing job also so i didn't get much time to prepare it was like um maybe i prepared for like 8 to 10 hours uh, not continuously but on separate days so because the documentation is long to read so that's why it took some time and i was preparing notes also so yeah uh, i have a habit to prepare notes because uh, it makes me understand the concept better and i was also doing the practice part okay so don't worry if you don't have the azure uh, account uh initially they will when you sign up for microsoft azure they will give you the free account and uh, i think it will uh, they will give you 200 dollars that will last to 28 to 30 days i guess after that the uh, 200 dollars will be vanished if you don't use that uh, they will be vanished okay so after that the free microsoft azure account will be there for 12 months okay now um so i was preparing all the things so it took some time for me to you know uh, practice all those but uh, after i did all the things so uh, what's next what uh, how to know that if i prepared well enough for this exam so what i did was i just uh, go for some practice tests that are available on udemy and you can find them online too you just search for easy 900 practice tests uh, in udemy it's um, i don't know the course because i got them for free because um, my employer pays for that so yeah uh, okay so i did some practice tests about 6 uh, to 7 Uh, practice tests and yeah the results were fine i was getting 80 per plus percentage or 90 plus percentage in those practice tests so i was confident enough that yes i can uh, clear this exam so yeah i think that's it and uh, yeah that was my preparation strategy after after practice tests i just gave the exam so i think uh, the because since it's the mcq based and like uh, not hands on based exam i will prefer that uh, after the preparation um just give the exam okay after preparing everything after giving some practice test just give the exam because um we can forget these concepts because it's all theoretical uh, in hands on we can handle everything but in theory it's a different thing and also i noticed that um i have given hands on exams also from red hat and i gave az900 that was not hands on based that was just um theoretical or an mcq based exam so what i noticed was we have to learn um the same in both the exam it's not like we don't have to learn much in those exams because there are many concepts to remember and in this uh, we have to know what uh, how it works and everything okay so uh, i think both the exams plays a important role so yeah um, yeah i think that's it for this video so thank you so much for watching for this video and if you have gained something like if you want to share your resources you are welcome if you have given already ac900 you can share your preparation strategy or maybe resources 
uh, in the comments and I will also share all the links that I used uh, so all the Udemy courses all the YouTube courses that you can get uh, free and everything every important link I will share in the description box so don't forget to check that out and always always check my description box because I link something important in that so yeah you don't want to miss that out so yeah um, again thank you so much for watching this video and if you like this video make sure to subscribe to my channel like this video comment share with your friends okay let's get certified I mean okay bye